Hey everyone, it's Jane and today I am showing you how I went from four very large BTS binders into one new A5 size binder. Um, this has been a long time coming. I've been wanting to downsize my BTS collection significantly for probably a year and a half now and I just kept putting off for different reasons. Um, I was like kind of afraid to do this and share it with the internet just because of my channel and everything like that. Um, but <laughs> as you have probably noticed, I uh, took a seven month long hiatus from making YouTube videos. Um, I've still been collecting during that time, but I just have not been making any videos. Um, creating content around my collection became like really stressful and I wasn't enjoying it anymore. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about why I took a break, and that's basically it. I was just so stressed about not being able to put away cards or open mail because I had to keep it to make a video and stuff like that, and I was having a lot of really conflicted feelings about my collections, but felt like because I had a channel, there was this obligation to create content, and I didn't have the time or space to think through that on my own. Um, so yeah, I ended up just kind of uh, taking a break. It wasn't planned. I didn't uh, expect to do that, but it's been great for me personally. Um, I've had a lot of time to really like reassess my goals for all of my different collections. Um, and I've decided that the best thing for me is to completely downsize my BTS collection into just this one A5 binder. And I'm not going to say never, but with the state of things as they are around BTS, um, this is probably going to be the, not end of my collection, but I don't see myself collecting much more for BTS moving forward. Um, I did not buy Memories of 21, for example, um, so I think things like that I'm probably not going to collect anymore, mainly because I had no joy in collecting anymore. Um, I Obviously, if you've been here a minute, Collect Jungkook, he uh, was the first idol that I ever biased and ulted and collected. And it's just gotten to this point where collecting him is literally impossible. If you don't pull him or if a friend doesn't pull him, I would have to pay just an absurd amount of money to buy his cards. Because no one's trading him. Like, it doesn't matter what member of BTS you have, no one is going to trade their Jungkook card for another member. And it just became really unsustainable and it was completely removing every bit of joy I had about collecting BTS. Um, so I finally decided to just not bother anymore. Um, so I'm not sure what that means for the future of my collection. I guess we'll just see as the future of BTS unfolds um, what I decide to do with my collection. But I went through each of the four binders that I have and um, condensed things into this binder. So I'm going to do a flip through of what this binder looks like now, the state of my collection. I do have some photo cards in a box somewhere that I currently cannot find, but I will find it and I'll go through the cards in that box and decide what I'm keeping in my next like overall binder update video because I really need to do a lot of updating uh, for my other collections. So yeah, that'll be next time, but for now I'm going to show you what my BTS collection looks like and what I am not keeping because everything that does not make it into this binder, I will be selling. So keep your eyes peeled on that and on my uh, trade and sale Instagram. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what is in this binder and then very, very quickly go through um, these other binders just to show things that were in my collection that I'm not keeping. Um, to show very, very quickly a couple other things, I do have their Wings final sets. And I thought I would keep these, but have ultimately decided not to. As well as um, the larger album cards, like for HYH and Young Forever and Wings. I did want to keep these, but the like pocket pages that I would have to use for the A5 binder, they just were not staying inside the sleeves. So unless I can come up with an alternative uh, way to store these, I'm probably not going to keep them, but I will kind of keep them to the side for now. I'm not going to be selling these just yet because I would like to figure out a way to make these work in the new binder, um, but we'll see. Okay, actually I'm changing my own mind and I'm just going to show you 
what's left in these binders individually and then show you the final result. So one second. Okay, so this was my original album binder. Also, sorry about the little chimney band-aid, but I uh, had a little whoopsie in the kitchen, but these are group cards that I'm not keeping. More group cards. I never liked the school of these cards, so not keeping these. Um, some more group cards in Gen Dope. Um, miscellaneous Love Yourself Her cards. I was keeping this OT7 set, but decided not to, um, and I also will not be keeping the Her Lenticular, any of the Lenticulars for that matter. This was another OT7 set that I was keeping, but have decided not to. Um, the Answer Linty. This was yet another OT7 set I decided not to keep. Um, this random Namjoon. These postcards. Another OT7 set that is being sacrificed. And random Mutt 7. I'm not keeping any of these B cards. These are his two lucky draws. And uh, I'm just gonna just gonna let them go to be honest. These were the first like random Weavers pre-order benefits. I'm not gonna keep these. Same thing with these cards. They were cute, but I don't feel I need to keep them. None of these lucky draws are staying. This was definitely the like less cute set in my opinion, so. These were the Grammy Lucky Draws, but these are the like non-sparkly versions. So I'm gonna sell those. Random merch stuff. <laughs> this might be slightly controversial, but I have Jungkook's entire Japan um, photo card set, including the Taiwan Young Forever, and I'm not keeping any of these. Uh, and I'm not keeping any of Yoongi's either. Um, so yeah, <laughs> collecting for Japan is always such a headache, and I'm just, it, it's, it's time to go. I'm not keeping any of these. I do love these flyers because they're so gorgeous, but they're massive, so they're just gonna go, even though they are really stunningly gorgeous. Um, I should have never bought these in the first place, to be honest, like, I don't know. Um, Taiwan Young Forever will be sold, as well as this last, uh, this You Never Walk Alone Taiwan. I have this Youth Japan Handshake card that's stamped, so I'll be selling this. Uh, membership stuff, not keeping any of that. Um, Hybe, Now 3, Speak Yourself Final Lucky Draw. Um, this, <laughs> this was a bit of a difficult decision, but... I'm not keeping any of the Memories of 2016 PCs, not keeping any of these. I'll, I might sell them with the DVDs, honestly. Um, here's a little sneak peek on some of the like really exciting decisions that were made, but I'm not keeping any of these DVD cards. Yeah, these are all going to be going to a new home, including these Memories PCs, all of these, all of these Yoongi PCs. Yeah, so that's it for the first binder full of sacrifices. Um, it was hard to make these decisions, but I ultimately had to be kind of cutthroat about it, and I do feel really good about my choices. Next binder. Okay, next, this was the 2021 and forward um, binder. I'm not keeping any large inclusions, period. So the New Year's, um, these viewfinder PCs are going, hide merch, not keeping any of this, never should have put this in my binder, these film strips for butter, nope, uh, these were the Weavers Global, um, random pre-order benefits, selling these, and these Japan ones, um, o not keeping OT7 for any PCs anymore, not keeping any of these lucky draws either, um, yeah, obviously not keeping any of this Festa stuff because it was just, uh, it's just a lot and I don't need it. More random merch stuff. Oh, this is all 6th Muster, not keeping any of this. Um, Damajang, I'm only keeping, um, Yoongi and JK, so all of these will be going. PTDLA Lucky Draws, only keeping Yoongi and JK. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Um, and for PTD, 
not keeping any of these cursed lucky draw not lucky draws mini pcs they were so difficult to collect but um gonna get rid of these soup pcs season's greetings and little wishes um i will be selling now one with these postcards and i might sell the 20 what is it 15 2016 um summer package with this photo wait do i have 2015 i don't know so i might just sell this separate um but yeah i'm not keeping any of these larger inclusions so there we go i just I don't know having all of these huge binders was just really stressing me out and um yeah downsizing feels great all right last couple binders <laughs> so this was the tour binder whoops um had some old concert pcs we've got red bullet complete set um hyh on stage not keeping either of these or any of the larger cards yeah uh on stage epilogue the like most cursed little mini pc set not keeping these um no larger inclusions i've already gotten rid of a ton of merch uh stuff from wings but i will also be selling jk's mini pc sets along with the wings and wings final units this is from the army bomb uh pcs i kept yungi and jk but uh, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with the rest Love Yourself, uh, Korea slash International, not keeping these. These are like really plain. Although I say that knowing what's coming from Mott's and BBC, which is like an even more egregious <laughs> level of like lazy styling. But anyway, all of these unit PCs are going. <sighs> Jin's Love Yourself Japan. I really, really thought about keeping these. This is a maybe, but <sighs> I just... Oops, sorry, I just knocked the tripod. I just love these photos so much. Look at how cute. Maybe I'll just keep a couple. I don't know. I don't know. All the units. Speak Yourself Japan. Didn't love these either, but collected them because I felt like I had to. Speak Yourself Final. I've already sold some of these sets, but I'll be getting rid of the rest of them. Yeah, just not my favorite. Um, and then these larger inclusions. No, no, no. The <laughs> Army Bomb Special Edition, these PCs are so photoshopped, it's it's terrible, so I'm gonna get rid of those. This is the Ring photo card set. Um, Mott's Tour, all of these PCs are gonna go. And then everything from Mott's One, also going. So that's it for the Tour Binder. It's so crazy because I felt at the time that I like had to have all of these photo cards and now I look at it and like they're cute but I it's time to let them go is what it's come down to and it's crazy to think at one point that I would have like died to have all these photo cards and then I did it um but yeah they're just you know to quote Marie Kondo they're not spark and joy anymore and now we have the final um binder this was the muster and miscellaneous so I still have a few broadcast PCs that I'm going to sell, and this is my very last Butterfly Dream photo. Then I have a second Muster 22920 PC set, and these are the Japan Second Fan Meeting photos. Um, large inclusions from Third Fan Meeting. This set from third fan meeting, the only one I would want to keep is this one, but I'm just not going to do that, so it's all going to go. Fourth Japan fan meeting PCs. I love Yungi's hair, but that's not a good enough reason to keep this. Um, I don't particularly love this set for JK. I have these fourth fan meeting units and these random fourth muster units that are going to be sold. This was the harder decision because I do think 4th Muster was much cuter than 4th Fan Meeting. Um, I love this card so, so much, but it's still not worth keeping the set. Um, and this JK card, also super, super cute, but I'm still on the fence about these units. We'll see. 
I'm really on the fence about this Yoongi set because it is so beautiful and I love it, but I don't really love JK set. It's very like plain, so I don't know. Um, and then these are like random cards for each member. I will be selling these. These guestbook cards gave me such a headache and I'm not keeping them, which is like, why did I torture myself for some of these cards? But I had no way of knowing then that um, collecting would just like break me down emotionally, financially, and, and, and spiritually. So I'm gonna get rid of these, even though this is the cutest freaking photo card he's ever done. But uh, this JK set, which haunted me for, for months, will also be going. Then we have the hollow um, ticket holder PCs. These will be sold at some point when I can bring myself to get rid of them because they are super cute. But yeah, I don't know. This was the notepad set. Um, one for like each member, not keeping these. Yoongi and JK. And then all of these freaking units. <laughs> Um, and then BBC, which, God, I, like, hated collecting BBC as I was collecting it, so it's fine. I don't even know if I'm gonna bother selling some of these larger inclusions for it. Um, this was the Charger set. Um, these were the keychains. And then the OT7 PCs, which were just Mott's tour, but with a different color back. I hate these postcard size things, but... In the moment, you feel like, oh my god, I have to collect this, I have to complete this set, da, 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 da. Um, but yeah, it was just a big fuss. Festa pink PCs, these are really cute, but like, I don't love clear photo cards, so that's fine. This is the random <laughs> JK PC page. The only one that I really felt like I might keep was this Armypedia puzzle card, or this Japan, uh, Love Yourself Japan passport case. But ultimately, they're all gonna go. Although we stand a king who loves carbs, but they're gonna go. Clear PCs, like I said, not about it. I think I've made it clear by now that I do not like postcards. <laughs> so these are all going. Um, and then these are just some random feel of things I got because he looked really good, which like, understandable. But yeah, that is it for the last binder. These are all of the things in my BTS and Yoongi and JK collections that I am not keeping. So now let's look at what remains and what my collection will look like moving forward. Okay, here we go. So this is my new binder. This is an A5 binder from Prism Platinum. Uh, this is an Instagram shop. I'll link to it in the, com uh, in the description box. But uh, they sell these binders as well as all of these different um, sleeve pages. So I bought a bunch. Uh, it was a little expensive to have it shipped from Australia, but I wanted um, my BTS binder to be in like a really nice, my BTS collection to be in a really nice quality binder. Um, and I like this a lot. It's really sturdy. It feels very protected and I like the quality of the pages. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Very exciting. Um, so I have this little cover page this uh, is my favorite OT8 photo. I love it so much, um, as well as this one. These are my top two. So I kept these, and I put the um, HYH group photo on the back because this was my favorite like album group photo card. Then I have Yoongi and JK. This thing is so full, so like I really don't have much more room in it. But uh, anyway, you'll see there are like a couple random empty spots or spots that have like cards. You'll see. Um, but I decided to double up the album PCs to save room on pages, so these are just in order. There we go. Her. Tear. Answer. Um, these are from Season's Greetings. I just really liked these two, so kept them, but I may replace them with other things. We'll see. This is the only OT7 set that I kept because this is my favorite photo card set they have ever done. And I just knew if I ever regretted this, it would be impossible basically to like finish this collection again. So kept these and I love them. They make me so happy. <laughs> uh, then Persona and Mott's B. I kept some of these lucky draws. Um, and then I also kept all of the sparkly Japan ones because they were just, 
so traumatic collecting and I just like couldn't get rid of them right now. Then we have Butter, that page, um, PTD, Ellie, Lucky Draws. Then it goes on to Mott's One Photo Book on the back. I'm not sure about these. I mainly really wanted to keep this JK card because I pulled it and it's my favorite. But I'm not sure if I really want to keep the others. We'll see. This this page might change. Um, then I have my iconic queen of pages, the Japan Fan Club renewal. Um, and this is a little Japan Fan Club uh, kissy face PC. So these were cards that I just knew I would like never be able to bring myself to part with. So there we go. And on the back, we're moving into the DVDs. Um, so these are the DVD PCs that I could not bring myself to part with. Uh, mainly Memories Blu-rays, Japan 5th Fan Meeting, um, and then some more Yungi ones here. So there we go. Um, the Army Bomb PCs. And then these are the mini PC sets I kept for each member. So Love Yourself Japan, of course, for both. And the first Damajong set for both. Because these are just so beautiful to me. And then in the very back, I have um, Jungkook's like postcard book one, uh, photos from Dama Zhang because they're beautiful, but they may have to be sacrificed for space. Um, because like I said, I have that box that I need to find that I know has more photo, uh, photo cards in it. Um, so I may need to find space for those. And this is already like really super full. Um, so... I may need to downsize this even more or try to reshuffle, but for now, that's what it looks like. This is my BTS collection. Um, it's so crazy to look at it now to go from four binders to this, but this genuinely makes me so happy. I love this little collection. I feel like it really represents just my favorite things that were in my collection. Um, and so yeah, I think I'll see what happens moving forward, but for now, knowing that I'm not really collecting much in the immediate future, um, I'm supporting all of their solo projects, but I'm not like buying any physical copies um, just because I needed a break. Um, so I'm going to continue doing that, just supporting the solo projects um, by streaming and stuff and not actually buying physical copies. Although I'm so excited. The day I'm filming this, we got the track list for Indigo, and I cannot believe a freaking feature with Erica Badu, like, oh, only Namjoon, only Namjoon could pull that off, but I'm so excited um, for all of their solo projects and what's to come for BTS, uh, and I'll be happy to continue to support them through it, but just with a tinier collection that will make me happier and allow me to be a happier army, so there we go. All right, everyone, that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please give this a like and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you soon with a new video. Bye!